Okay guys, um, Zero here again, and I wanted to show you guys really quick uh, where I'm at with the um, with our Tabletop Dungeoneers Discord uh, Dice Tower Challenge. Um, so I wanted to record some of this just to, just real quick, just to kind of give you guys an up update on what, what I'm doing and what's going on. So, okay, my original sketch was a bunker uh, for games like Warhammer 40k, Infinity, whatever. So it's like a 8 inch bunker it's got open faces and balconies the top floor has a basic uh, perimeter where you can place your miniatures then you've got the hole for the first dice drop uh, and then as you see it'll go in it'll go in through to the second tier and the second tier will have a trap door and the trap door will drop down once the dice land once enough dice land on there the trap door will drop down and then it'll go down to the bottom tier there each tier has space for miniatures so should it's a little bit ambitious. I've never done anything like this before, but I've built scenery, I've built terrain. So, I mean, I'll do what I can. We'll see We'll see how far we get. Here we have my first uh, rough draft of the floor plan. And you can see here's the top tier, uh, and here's the first uh, slanted uh, platform. It's gonna drop onto this balcony, and then the trap door will drop. Uh, we'll probably put a spring or something. I'll, I'll do something real simple that you know doesn't take a lot of strain or stress on the on the parts because this is all going to be foam core and I don't want to stress the part and, and bend it or whatever but then it'll drop down to this tier and then it'll drop down to here finally and this is where you'll you'll either pick them up from both one of either one of these two depending on if there's miniatures up here or not and I'm going to try to put a glass door back here so you can see them come down um, kind of like a just a plastic you know whatever screen but I also you know printed out a couple of these because I will use these as my templates. I'm going to lay these on top of the foam board and I'll use these as my stencil to cut out the basic shape of the side panels. And then I can go on ahead and decide what measurements I'm going to use for my uh, width on, on, the, on the tower. So that's where I'm at right now. I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you guys know what I'm doing. Um, first big 20, 2020 project here. Um, and for the tabletop dungeoneers, I'm, I'm, I've never done this before again, guys. So we'll see. It looks like it's going to be fun. And it's like, you know, you guys know I, I, I love challenges. So we'll see you soon. All right, guys.